Hi there, it's Ray. We are starting a new project today. I had bought on Amazon this package of faux leather tooled with this really pretty floral pattern. Um, seven or eight colors. There may be one missing here. I don't remember exactly. Seven. Okay. So it was all of those colors plus the one I'm working with. I'm going to get more advanced with what I do with this, but I want to get the technique for applying it down and sealing it before I do something more advanced. So I decided I'm going to do a very basic tumbler. So I spray painted a 20 ounce skinny in this London gray from Rust-Oleum and that's my tumbler. And this is the piece of leather I'm going to work with. Um, pretty much a leather leather. Now I'm struggling to decide which side is going to be up and down on this because this way this flower is right side up but the hibiscus is upside down. So I think I'm going to go this way as my top. But this is just a felt backing. So I think what I'm going to do is spray this. This is one of the boxes I use to seal my water slides. Um, but I think I'm going to put this in the box. I'm going to spray it with my 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive because this will dry quickly and it's really, really sticky. So that should work. So I'm going to get this sprayed and I'll be back to get it on the cup. Okay, so this is sealed. I'm going to put one of these um, Dollar Tree chopping mats down. This has been used under epoxy, but the backside is relatively okay. Just because if there's any overspray, I don't really want my whole table getting gross. So, hopefully that is sprayed well enough. Because... This will be interesting. So it is caught a little bit short to the tumbler so it doesn't go down over the fold. And so it's got a little bit of a lip at the top for the epoxy to grab. It's, I don't really know what the best way to go about this is. Because I basically now have a 9 by 8 super sticky sticker. So I'm going to try and just do this. I don't have a real brown spray paint. That's why I went with this color. Even though it's certainly not going to be perfect. Oh my, this is techy, techy, techy. So I actually think that might be okay. It seems to be okay on the top. So I'm just going to kind of hold it up and let it dangle. And this is where it's going to get interesting because I cut it pretty close to where it might need a little stretch to make the seam line up because I want the seam to lay flat and that is perfect at the top. Okay, so I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Let me get this out of here. Turns out I didn't need it. I was going to like tape this over the seam or put hair ties all over it, 
but I honestly don't really think that's going to be necessary. And I don't really think I mind the color contrast. This is basically just going to look like a leather tumbler when I'm done. This is unfortunately a tiny bit of the white felt, but I don't really want to start messing with that. So I think what I'm going to do is I sealed the last faux leather I used with just a single coat of Mod Podge. I don't think I want to use Mod Podge this time. I think I'm going to try my Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Gloss Spray. Um, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I'm going to run to the post office, do some dishes. Um, my little sticker bugger is coming off the bottom. And since I didn't peel it before I spray painted it, I really would like it to stay on. Um, but I'm going to let it sit for maybe an hour, let that adhesive really set up. I may put just a couple little pieces of painter's tape just to make sure it doesn't lift while I'm gone and not babysitting it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this sit and firm up and take it out and spray seal it and then we will just get it over to epoxy. It's hopefully going to be just that simple. I'm not going to put a decal on this at all because this is gorgeous and if it maintains this under the spray sealer and the epoxy, I'm just going to let it stand alone. So I'll be back. Okay, um, this has dried. I have applied a clear coat to it and I think I'm good to go. I think it looks, <laughs> it's going to look so pretty. I mean, it already does, but with just that epoxy shine added to it, it's going to be phenomenal. So I'm going to give it a pretty good coat of epoxy. Unfortunately, it's a little chilly and this epoxy mixed pretty bubbly, but I don't think it'll be a problem. And I don't really anticipate this necessarily wicking anything in unless it sucks some up from the ends but um I did mix 30 mls which is more than I typically mix for a 20 ounce but because this is textured I figured it's going to need the extra to get in and around all of the detail And I am glad I kind of just left this one simple. So it just looks like a beautiful tan leather cup. And I saw these, Amazon suggested it to me or it came up on my Facebook feed or something. And I was like, oh, that is so beautiful. I have to have it. So now I have it. I'm just going to torch it real quick. I'm going to try and be gentle with the heat on this one. Because I don't want to end up lifting the faux leather or anything. And it doesn't seem to be blowing bubbles at the seam or anything like that, so that's a good sign. So, um, yeah, it's definitely not wicking any in because that would have started immediately. Um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy with this. I'm going to bring it up so you can see more of the detail in this faux leather. It's really stunning. I mean, I have a lot of faux leathers that I've used for bows and stuff, but this is like closest to real deal I've seen, and I absolutely loved this pattern. I will link to this set down below if anyone's interested. 
but I have one little random speck of glitter. But that is it for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've done one of these. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.